member of our team, as always, is Elena Lansing. Let's go to Elena. Coach, a goal coming in today was jump out to a fast start and take care of the ball. You guys have done that well. What else has worked to give you guys a nice cushion heading into half? You know, I thought we've hit singles on both ends of the floor, something we talk about all the time. The recovery process is super important off the court. You want to make sure you're hydrating. You want to make sure you're foam rolling and stretching and get out there and warm up, especially after a long day. Get that lactic acid worked out of your muscles. All right, Jason, I'm going to have to disagree with you here. I think absolutely he'll go over 60 home runs this year, especially because the AL East has those home run parks. As you know, lots of teams shoot half court shots during their pregame warm ups, and STSU did just that up at UND on Thursday night, but they didn't just shoot it and make one. They made five in a row, and of course, it blew up on social media. It was on every major network, including SportsCenter, and they got the nod from five time pro bowler JJ Watt on Twitter. He said, This is awesome. Third girl didn't even flinch after the make. Savage move. Guys, Lots of excitement heading into that game, of course. You had a three-pointer with 49 seconds to go. How did you stay so composed in that moment? Um, I mean, it's just what we do every day in practice. All season, but especially during tournament time, it's important to have that support that brings you confidence. For Hannah Beyer, it's her new husband, Adam Beyer, who's also a former Augie national champion that gives her the extra support. She looks to him in the stands, and he'll point to his legs if she needs to use her legs more on her shot, or points to his wrist if she needs to follow through. She told me it's like they have their own basketball sign language, and she's extremely thankful for it, especially in pressure situations like this. Tournament championship win for you guys tonight, and your seniors have been described as the heart and soul of this program. What do you have to say about the other two guys battling out there with you tonight? Uh, the, oh my guys, they fought so hard, and we know what we're going to do, come, come in and accomplish this goal. We wanted to do it again, and we just came in and fought real hard, and we got it done. You got it done, not only in the first half, but the second half, and I've never seen you guys more excited than when your reserves came in towards the end. What do you have to say about everybody's performance tonight? We wanted everybody to contribute. How important is a good start for a race? Um, a good start is very important because it gives you the base speed on the start of your race. What I really like to see off the starts is a couple quick dolphin kicks and then flutter kick immediately to the surface, popping your top arm out, getting your stroke rotation down early. A strong defense has two different types of defensive players. You've got the one that likes to be offensive minded and the other that likes to take those strong hits. It's tough for the goalie when it bounces off the pipe to be able to sight the puck, get back and regroup before the next shot is taken.